gives it a delicate flavor and a delicate texture. And responds well to just careful cooking. I've paired it with the celeriac and truffle because again, it's just a delicate flavor and goat's cheese goes along with the theme. that sizzle and you put the goat in. Just take a few minutes in a moderate to hot pan and just a nice gold. You don't want the pan smoking. The pop of the bouquet garni is a good sign that your pan is hot enough. When it's nice and evenly brown, we add the butter just to finish it and give it a gentle baste. And then a few minutes into the oven. For two people, you need uh, one good sized celeriac. So, cut it into battens. So, these are about a five millimeter batten. Here we have the black gold, black truffle. It's not an essential part of. Uh, the recipe, but um, my god, it's good. So, these are black truffles from Western Australia, and they're in, in season at the exact time the celeriac. The celeriac to the bowl, then the truffle, then I'm adding a, a soft marinated goat's cheese. This is one of the best by Meredith. Good thick pouring cream just to bind it together. So put this into a into a shallow dish, and I'm going to put on top a uh, melting cheese. This is a, an Iberico, which is related to Manchego from Spain, um, just because it was a beautiful goat cheese of the right consistency and melts beautifully. Um, you can use. Um, your substitute, of course, of Gruyere or Parmesan or even cheddar if you like, but I love to stick to the theme of, of the goat cheeses to go with the goat rack. It's something I do, a little bit of additional cream onto the top of the, the cheese. And then we're into the oven for uh, 30 to 40 minutes to cook the celeriac through and melt the cheese. The rack we've cooked to 65, centi 65 degrees centigrade and uh, nice, nice rosy pink. Beautiful golden gratin. The smell of this with the, the cheese and the truffle is just outstanding. Okay, garni on the side for garnish.